Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I get invited to several events throughout the year and throughout the world, really. And uh, I was supposed to attend an event today on Microsoft's campus called Advance 08, uh, where they were going to make a series of announcements. And unfortunately, uh, over the past couple of days, I've been having pretty heavy-handed issues with uh, respect to my own web servers. And so I've been babysitting them and wasn't able to kind of escape the confines of my home office. However, uh, that said, uh, Microsoft has been making quite a few waves with a couple of the announcements that they made. Uh, one of the announcements uh, we'll have to cover in another video uh, relates to how Microsoft's search platform can help you potentially save money with products that you're about to purchase. So instead of searching your default search engine, which may or may not be Microsoft's engine, likely isn't, uh, you could use theirs and potentially save money when it comes to buying things. I understand that whole process is the reason why I post coupons to my blog all the time at chris.perillo.com. It's also why I set up coupons.lockernum.com so you could search for your own coupons and subscribe to them in some kind of feed. Uh, so the, the second announcement that started to make waves dealt with how Microsoft was talking about bringing advertising to something like the Zune. And some people are like, what? Why would I want advertising on my Zune? Come on. Well, I, I, it's not horrible. I mean, okay, so we put up with a lot of advertising. And, you know, when they started talking about putting advertising in video games, you know, I, I'm sure gamers are like, ah, what the heck, yeah, I don't want to see ads in the games. But, you know, they're put on billboards or they're just done, you know, somewhat tastefully for the most part, not always. So advertising has been inside of platforms like game consoles for you know years and years and years i mean the xbox 360 is littered with advertisements i'm honestly not that annoyed by the advertisements on the xbox 360. Uh, i don't feel like they're in my face i feel they are actually offering me a value oh there's a new game out or there's something here or what's going on i feel like it's a part of the experience i don't feel like i'm losing out on that experience so the discussion you know really you know, kind of fell on to people saying that they didn't want to have uh, advertisings mixed in with their media. And I don't know if it's not necessarily in your face. It just it never doesn't really bother me. It just doesn't. Um, and I mean, if, if let's say Microsoft offered a, a, a way for a musician to release an album for free if it was underwritten by a sponsor, if the album or this content is free, well, who are you to argue? Who would I be to argue? I mean, maybe you could get it for free and you know that it comes along with the sponsor. Advertising is not going away. Uh, and if Microsoft is making it easier for advertisers to get onto a variety of platforms and create a seamless experience with the brands that they intend on supporting, uh, I'm never going to say that's a bad idea, never. Uh, now, if you sat there and asked me, well, Chris, don't you skip through commercials that you record on your DVR? Yes, I do, because they're invasive, and I don't feel they match my wants, needs, and desires. Now, if you ask me if I block ads on my web browser, um, since I switched to Safari, no, uh, I'm not running any kind of ad blocker. It blocks pop-ups, which are an invasive form of advertising. But if a brand has an ability to connect with an audience uh, in a clean fashion, a good experience, then I, you know, I don't, I'm just not gonna be one who's gonna say no. Sorry. Now imagine this. Imagine if you could get a media player for free, if it was sponsored, if it had someone's logo on it. I mean, are you really going to say, no, no, I don't want that hardware? I mean, they do this all the time. Like you go to trade shows and get like flash drives with someone else's logo on them still a flash drive. I mean, if you want, you could scratch out the logo if you want to go that far with it. I mean, when you're talking about melting it, though, with the media on the device, well, again, if it's free, what's the issue? Now, if you're paying for that content in some capacity and the advertising comes wrapped with it, then it's kind of like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. 
Uh, but if you're not paying for it and it's ad supported and it's done tastefully, I seriously just don't see the issue. I don't, especially if it's related to a way that the content producer can continue doing what they're doing, that the advertiser is able to get their message out, and that the person who's consuming the content just doesn't feel like completely put off by it. Commercials are going to happen. Let me ask you this. Would you rather see commercials that are contextual or non-contextual? If I see another advertisement for any sport-related product, it'll be too soon. I'm just not into sports at all. Just want to know your thoughts. Uh, would you take a product, a piece of hardware, that was free if it was ad-supported? Would you be completely offended to seeing ads that were targeted to what you were looking for? If you're asking me, not at all. As long as they're non-invasive, as long as they go with the flow, I'm good to go. My email address is chris at perillo.com, and I'm sure you've got ideas about this one. How are they doing it right? How are they doing it wrong? How might they be able to do it so that it can work? You can't just say that ads are not going to exist. It's just not realistic. I just don't see it as realistic. They're going to exist, so figure out how to get along with them. It's just as long as they're getting along with you. That's kind of the, the whole user-centric caveat that I'll throw into it. You're also welcome to stop by the chat room, which uh, you know is you know on this web page that also has my live video feed that's streaming out onto the net pretty much all the time. I mean, whether I'm sitting in this desk or not, the chat room is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.